Welcome my beautiful Aries. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly tarot, general tarot, an oracle card forecast for the week of July the 5th to the 11th, 2021. Again, this is a general. Please know that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does resonate with. All these cards that I'm using for this week will be posted in the information box below as well as how to contact me for a private and personal reading. I am booking into the middle and the end of this week now. Okay, so my beautiful, beautiful Aries, let's see what we have here for your messages. What does Spirit, Divine Spirit, guides, please tell me what Aries needs to see. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to expect? Past, present, and future energy. All right, let's see what we have here, Aries. Okay, coming in behind you, you have the Knight of Swords. All right, you have the Queen of Wands. Whoa, that flew on the floor. Let's see what we got here. You have the chariot. I like that. You've got the lady. That's the empress. In this deck it is. You've got the nine of swords for your crowning energy. I'll take that one. And you have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Coming in towards you, you have the Four of Cups. You have the Eight of Swords. Hmm, what's going on here, Aries? <clears throat> See what we will have here when we clarify them after the reading, okay? Because we will be clarifying them to see what they mean. <clears throat> all right, and the hangman. Okay, let's see what your all over energy card is going to be here. The humming in the background, if you hear the humming in the background, I apologize, but it's going to be in the high 80s, low 90s today here. Very humid, very hot, and so it makes this room very hot with the computers that we have in it. So um, I apologize for that, but I have checked the sound, and you can hear me clearly, and you can get the message. So I do apologize for that light humming. Okay, Spirit, what is their all-over energy card? What do they need to see, know, expect? Oops, that turned over fast. You've got Summer. Good card, actually. Very good card. Let's see what you have in the relationship sector or the romance part of your life this week. Well, I'm going to take that because it's sticking out. And you've got romantic feelings. What do you need to surrender to, Aries, this week? What do you... Well, you got two that flew out, but I'm going to take the one, the one here that landed on the site. And your final energy card here. One card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Oh, she's been coming up a lot, this particular lady. Okay, so there's a woman in your life here. All right, a female energy. Okay, let's see what we have here. Once I get this organized here, Aries, sorry. I'm ACDC. I really need to have things looking neat and organized <laughs> in order to concentrate fully. Okay, and I will be shuffling in. We will be clarifying with this deck. Okay, 
my beautiful Aries coming in with your all over energy card you have been given summer bask in joy and light oh great way to start off your week so you know this is a perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor maybe you know light has come in to banish the darkness clarity is going to arrive too, allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward know that your angels and ancestors and guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward because this is a time for pleasure and joy and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity, and inspiration at this time. Notice what's coming to you, okay, as it is inspiration directly from the divine. Beautiful, beautiful card for happiness coming into you in the near future. I like this, Aries. Now, coming in with your relationship or romance card, you have romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. For some of you, you could have met somebody new and you're going to be able to enjoy and you know and at this relationship on a beautiful loving and emotional level for others you could be in a relationship and you're going to be stirring those emotions again you're going to feel as though I mean especially with this happy card coming in this energy card this new beginning this beautiful beautiful uh, uh, elevation of energy and happiness you're going to want to spread that with and share it and spread it around with those that you care and love beautiful what do you need to surrender to oh look at you Aries stubbornness if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself so what are you holding back from Aries why are you not being communicative why are you not sharing yourself with others uh, equally um, you know don't set yourself up Aries for a fall because you could come out the loser you could end up losing something or someone very special to you or a situation so you know, don't allow yourself to dig your heels and draw a line in the sand at this time. If somebody's reaching out for you, reciprocate and reach back. Communicate uh, creatively with whoever it is and convey uh, and share information with each other. So try to let go. Try to not to be so rigid. Try try to realize that, uh, you know, a situation here needs to be either mended or it needs to be uh, rectified here. Something here needs to, they're telling me you need to get together and uh, make amends. Don't leave things unfinished with situations because you're, you're blocking yourself and you're being stubborn. Now it could be with this woman and she could be a dark haired woman or not she could be you know someone who's there who's kind who's understanding who's supportive she's always been in the background she's always been in the shadows she's always watching you look at her watching you and she comes with this beautiful gift of the rose we all know that roses stand for love so um, you know you might be communicating and uh, you know sharing your love and your romantic feelings with a beautiful woman this week for others if you're a different gender this you know this is the woman so you could have a woman in your life as as well if you're a female there could be somebody a friendship a, uh, someone uh, you know uh that you care for and I always say she could be a sister she could be a soul a kindred spirit she could be your soulmate she could be your lover as well and count yourself lucky that you have this beautiful energy that supports you and has stands by you wow lucky are you okay coming in behind you let's see what we have here you have the knight of swords you have the queen of wands and you have the chariot so you know I think you know coming in behind you you know there's going to be fast action I think you're going to be getting prepared to hear something happen it could be in the legal part of your life maybe some of you are dealing with courts and and uh, legal situations and something's going to come in very quickly this particular night moves very fast and you're not going to be able to sit around and wait for something once it arrives you're going to have to act on it. and it could be uh, you know signing of negotiations contracts agreeing to something something like that that could be legally uh, notarized uh, you know maybe you have to notarize something and have a have a you know agree to something and sign on something um, read between the lines don't jump in don't do anything in haste because you could react and then regret later um, seek counsel if you have to but this is something you can't procrastinate about if something comes in very quickly and you've been given an offer or an opportunity to do something you better do it because I always tell people somebody is always waiting in the shadows to jump in your shoes so be aware of that what are your risks that you have to lose in a situation if you procrastinate and and you know you're waiting around but this is knowledge coming into you okay the knight of swords comes running in very quickly very quick uh, energy so it, it, it's going to be knowledge and information that's going to benefit you 
the Queen of Wands, yeah, staying focused. Uh, you know, it looks like some of you have been to hell and back, walked through the fire, come out the other side like the Phoenix, and you're not going to listen to the procrastinators. Uh, pardon me, listen to the naysayers anymore, and you're not going to procrastinate anymore about your goal and direction you want to go. You're making your mind up. And I think it's going to be a very quick decision. Um, you know, I think that, you know, a lot of you have had some immense challenges to deal with in your past and now you've learned through those experiences and you realize that you're going forward you're staying focused all those naysayers psh, you're not going to worry about them your, your your motto now is watch me you've got the chariot yeah that's that's a card that says you're going to make it a tremendous accomplishment and you need to pat yourself on the back for it uh you know you knew uh maybe you know you're, you you had to go into the arena and i always say i call it this the, the champion because he goes into the arena with a mindset there's risks and there's consequences but you know what he goes in there with the fact that he's doing what's right and he's going to win and he does he comes out the winner he's a champion for others i think you're relocating you're moving uh and you could be traveling coming in in your center position which is your now position the energy you could be experiencing for some of you you have the lady the empress you have the nine of swords and you have you have the ace of cups so quite a quite a different arrangement here of energy so let's talk about our crowning energy here the nine of swords losing sleep worrying uh that so aries your crowning energy talks about worry <clears throat> okay that's what the nine of swords means and you know you could be losing you know you might be having restless and sleepless nights maybe you're having racing thoughts and dreams that things are you know you're expecting the worst is coming out and it's like self-fulfilling prophecies it's all about worry but remember something my beautiful aries you know stress brings on physical health issues and you don't want to get sick at this time in our world you you have things you're dealing with here and you you have to be centered focused focused and in 100% in well-being. So please take that message to get your rest. Coming in above the crowning energy, you have the lady and that is the empress. That's wanting beautiful things in your life. That's expecting beautiful things in your life. That's being able to see abundance. Some of you, you know, are going to be able to, uh, if you maintain your stability here, I think you're staying focused, you're going forward, you're going to come out a winner here. And, you know, so let go of the worry. The empress is all about <clears throat> your creativity and your hard work that's going to bring you great rewards maybe some of you it's your it's your profession it's your career that you're working so diligently on so focused on to see success building that legacy being able to build that nest egg so that you can uh, you can survive financially again it also has to do when we deal with the empress she has to do she's a very feminine motherly type of energy and and, and it refers to communicating and and being surrounded by family so you could be uh you know you could be dealing with children and family around you and 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 those issues involving uh you know parenthood here and you know because she's female uh, energy motherhood but parenthood as well because it you know i like to read it male or female but you know what some of you need to get out and ground yourself more and you need to take care of yourself nurture yourself get your rest get outdoors get some fresh air don't just do it traveling from you know from the car to your place of employment you know if you have a noon hour get the heck out of the office get out of the car go to the beach walk in the sand take your shoes off and take a breath of fresh air to rejuvenate yourself but it is about again the return of excellent emotional and physical good health so if you <clears throat> do those you know abide by those rules and that theory of grounding yourself and taking care of yourself you're going to be fine coming in below that you have the lovers my beautiful friend so gorgeous card no <clears throat> it's about love pardon me it's the ace of cups not the lovers so it's very similar i mean ace of cups is all about love coming into you being able to share that energy uh <clears throat> the ace of the ace of water is a beautiful card and it's a wonderful new person maybe that's coming into some of you okay there could be a new person coming in but it could also be involving a budding new relationship or it could be the a current relationship that's going to be uh revitalized and i had said that here before uh you know sharing your romantic feelings with somebody and connecting and getting together with somebody okay and again you may find yourself falling madly in love with an individual or being able to see that love surfacing again trust your instincts trust your psychic abilities my beautiful aries uh because you have that ability to see growth coming in there as well this is all about true friendship and soulmates compassion and kindness others you could be relocating and buying a different home or a new home coming in towards you you have the four of cups you have the eight of swords and you have the hangman now 
again you know the four of cups talks about being in a situation an emotional situation could be a, a relationship or just a situation and the energy around you could be your job you know and it's discontent okay you feel bored and you almost feel like you're missing out on an opportunity here keep your eyes open that's what this is all about when we talk about the four of water the four of cups it's all about staying focused okay don't allow yourself to get caught up in your in your dreamy world or your imagination uh, and and you know you get lost in your own little world and sometimes you feel this way you feel as though you're bored you feel as though you're missing out so um, you know what you can reevaluate the situation that you're in all right the fact that you think like you're missing an opportunity right the solution you're seeking is right in front of your face and fortunately positive forces are working to assist you now so this is fortunate so open your eyes to the possibilities and accept the help that's being offered to you okay don't be distracted don't allow your emotions to get carried away and trap you right so whether it's in your job your career whether it's in a relationship keep your eyes open Count your, count your blessings. Okay, Eight of Swords, again, getting up in your head. So you had the 10, worry, now you got the 8. And that's all about, you know, constraint. Feeling as though you're stuck, you're tied down, you're being held back, you can't go for it. Now, maybe some of you are dealing with a legal situation right now that's put a pause on your life. It's stalled you moving forward uh, and you're waiting to hear and get this settled. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, you feel as though you're stuck and you can't do the things you want to do. And this is getting up in your head, allowing those thoughts to take over, allowing the depression to set in, allowing you to be held captive with those with that energy around you. Oh, boy, I'm telling you something, Eric you got to let it go okay you've got to start taking care of yourself you've got to start doing what's right for you okay you have goals and aspirations but if you allow yourself to take on that negative so try to get out of that headspace, my beautiful Aries. You've got the hangman. I definitely, I think, you know, you're, this is this is coming in towards you. I think, you know, you're still waiting and you feel like you're hanging in limbo. Something isn't happening quick enough. But while you're there, I do see some of you are being proactive. You're working, you're accumulating information. You may, you know, may, may be out there keeping yourself really busy. Uh, and the thing is, if you're sort of still waiting in this pause moment, when this is over, you're going to be able to hit the ground and go towards your goals because you're still, you know, you're still being proactive, even though you're worrying. And I want you to let that worry go because you know what? We talked about that here, you know, and you have to let this go because you're only bringing worse energy into your space, my beautiful Aries. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's clarify some of this energy and see what's going on because, you know, uh, we start off really well here with, you know, coming in behind you with a, being focused with the queen of wands getting the information that you need to move forward and also winning something getting you know recognized for that so i think you know you just and and of course that beautiful ace of cups as well so what do they need to see what do they need to know what do they need to expect thank you spirit coming in with this knight of swords fast moving action yeah you could be seeing uh that you're going to be happy again walking in your garden of abundance opportunities options coming into you keep your eyes open you could be relocating you could be uh renovating you could be uh moving to a new house buying a new house or fixing your house up you may have the resources now to do that if that's your choice if that's what you want now you with the queen of wands staying focused you have the king of rods somebody could be advocating for you this could be law enforcement this could be uh you know this could be a mediator uh this could be a lawyer a judge somebody coming in here who's going to be uh you're going to be dealing with here um i think you're going to be stepping up and you're going to see something come into fruition here okay it could be government military too but it could be a mediator and justice so you could be receiving some value advice from an intelligent professional and it's important your decisions be fair and equitable to, to all involved okay so don't hesitate to consult a third party if necessary speak your mind with confidence someone who's an excellent speaker and is known for the ability to be objective and diplomatic could be you but i think somebody's coming in to do that for you maintain your ability to stay balanced my friends i think you're going to get the help that you need that's going to allow you to stay focused and go for your goals so coming in with a chariot you have the deception card that's the seven of wands keep your eyes open i think you know somebody knows that you're winning at something so, no somebody doesn't want to see your happiness and they're sneaking around to try to ride on your coattails be careful you've had this card a lot through the past my aries keep things close to your heart keep things private don't allow somebody who you don't want to be privy to your information or to their hands and their eyes inquisitiveness uh keep things under lock and key and close to your chest uh i think someone could be trying to sneak around and be checking on maybe 
your income tax, your bank information, your phone calls, your emails, anything. Keep yourself protected there. Coming in with a beautiful empress, you have the just judgment card so a judgment call is going to be made and you're going to feel liberated you're going to have a new beginning you're going to feel like you've been reborn you're going to, going to be able to move forward here this is the rebirth card and now you're going to be surrounded in those people and only those people in your soul pod okay in your circle that want to support you love you and be with you new beginning absolutely beautiful uh, wanting those beautiful luxuries coming into you so with our nine of swords you have again you have the five of cups crying over spilt milk okay uh, you know you get up in your head you worry you lose your sleep you think something isn't going to work out and maybe something in the past isn't what it, you thought it should have been maybe the past has brought in this grief this disappointment but it's done it's over and done now you need to look up you need to see the offers and the opportunities you still have cups here to fill my beautiful Aries and on our ace of cups you get the page of pentacles wow not only are you going to feel love and support you're also going to feel uh you know uh, good news about finances so when this particular page shows up this is an excellent card here that says yeah you're going to have support in the emotional and in the material part of your life beautiful card coming in with your four of cups uh yeah just dis disappointment and worry you got the page of swords so um you're going to stand in your truth and your clarity you're going to hear about something that has to do with truth it's going to help you move forward here so that you don't have to worry anymore uh something's going to surface and um it's going to help you out with our our eight of swords getting up in your head there's choices decisions offers opportunities that could benefit you do your research uh, find out what it is you want what's going to benefit you the most and you're, you're going to be able to make this decision the hangman the three of wands yes i love the three of wands the three of wands says that on top of that once you get out of that stagnant and and hanging in limbo mode you're going to be able to move forward this is a card that says get ready to see something great coming into you three of three of wands is having patience okay but you could be you know you could be working on your profession here a striving uh, a thriving business it's all about satisfaction some of you could be seeking wise counsel in that department too you could be taking on a new and important job but it's all about business and you could be thinking about going and traveling going the distance for your job maybe you're dealing with people on an international level but it's all really good and it's the card that says congratulate yourself this is your golden time of celebration and success beautiful well a very a very powerful reading my aries um and i do think that you know uh you're going to see uh the revitalization of support and love and compassion coming back into your life uh for others i think you're going to see that finances are going to improve and something's going to get settled here you've got a judgment call here so that you could be happy and see abundance and happiness again take care of yourself aries get your rest uh you know i want to see you ground yourself and get out there and protect yourself well this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And always remember and be mindful of the energy that you send out into the universe uh, because the universe is not happening to you the universe is reacting to you and what you put out there will come back to you tenfold and i leave you with this again because i truly believe we all need to hear it and i believe it the universe and the divine your higher power want you to succeed and want you to find your happiness and peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness blessings my beautiful souls and know that i always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you let's continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and I'll see you soon.